Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, first of all, I want to thank you for the response that I had to my Nordstrom anniversary sale haul. It seems like you guys really, really liked that and that makes me so beyond happy. So once again, thank you for that. And if you haven't checked it out, I will link it down below. Um, but today's video is all about a review and what's in my purse type of video um, in regard to the Louis Vuitton Neverfull MM in the Damier Abbey print. Let's get into the review and see what's in my purse. <laughs> so as I mentioned, this is the MM, so this is the medium sized one in the Neverfull. There's also the PM, which is smaller, and the GM, which is the biggest one. This is the middle size one. Um, if you're looking to buy your first Neverfull, I would suggest going with this size. Um, the GM can be a little bit big at times, though it is great for travel, um, and the PM is a little too small, at least for my preference. Um, I like a bigger bag because I tend to carry a lot of stuff with me, usually. I've recently cut it down a little bit because my purses were just getting too heavy. <laughs> um, but as I mentioned before, this is the Damier Eben print, so that's why it's the brown checker, um, and it has the darker brown leather on the handle. Um, as well as the accents here, like these little side things where you can cinch it in. Um, if you don't know anything about the Louis Vuitton Neverfulls, what is great is that you can push in the sides. Oops, let me do it down here. You can push in the side, and then you can tighten up this little guy on the side and make it, well, mine clearly I don't wear it like this often, but you can make it so that the side goes like this just by cinching that up. Um, and so it makes it a little bit smaller. If you're traveling and you're afraid someone's gonna like reach into your bag or something, it's a great way to cinch it up. Um, and you can do that on both sides of the bag, which I really do like. Now, when I purchased this bag, it wasn't um, available with the little pouch that comes on the inside. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So my Neverfull in the monogram print came with this little clutch thing. It has a little arm strap on it and it's great if you're going out at night and you just want to carry something little you can put it around your wrist and you have this um, and I really like it um, but when I purchased this one it did not have that so that's okay though because um, when they added that to this purse the purse definitely got way more expensive um, so I'm okay with that but just wanted to throw that out there that if you buy it now you will get one of these little guys and it will match the print of your purse so different sizes in the Louis Vuitton Neverfulls come in different colors on the inside this one is like the red cherry color on the inside um, but currently in addition to this color it also comes in a rose ballet color which is a really pretty blush pink and um, that one wasn't available when I purchased this bag sadly but if you can get it I do think it's really really pretty um, I'm actually torn whether I like the red or the blush color better I think they're both really beautiful it does have this darker leather like the accent like the piping um, like in the handles so it never shows it doesn't show the wear as bad so what I mean is that like when you get a monogram bag and it has the really light leather um, for the piping and the handles then after a couple months or so it starts soaking up the oils of your hand and stuff and it starts turning a darker color as leather does um, but what's cool about this one is that because it's already a dark brown you don't get that um, you don't really see that wear as much which is great in my opinion makes your handbag um, look newer for much longer so it's definitely a plus to choosing this print you really can't go wrong with the Neverfulls. If you're looking to buy your first Louis Vuitton purse, I'd either suggest going with the Speedy or the Neverfull. I think those are the two classics. Um, they're also two of the bags that are on the more, not inexpensive, but less expensive than a lot of the other ones that Louis Vuitton sells. Um, so that's a great plus as well for choosing one of these over some of the other ones they sell. Another feature that I really like about the bag is that at the top it has this little, um, I don't know what you call this clasp where you can hook the two sides together so once again it just makes sure it doesn't like fall open um, while you're carrying it just another feature that helps make sure that your purse doesn't get open and stuff like that kind of like how the little things on the side um, help prevent that um, but let's get into the inside of the bag so there's just a couple things I want to touch on real quick before we get into actually what's in my purse. But on the inside there is a little zipper pouch and then there is a little um, loop right here. 
I like can't think straight today, but we'll call it a loop. Um, and you can use that, like the newer purses, if they come with a little pouch, you can hook this end instead of like in a circle like I have, you can hook the end to that little metal thing. So then you can easily find the little pouch. Um, I'm not using it for anything right now, but it probably would be great if you wanted to like hook some car keys or something like that that you don't want to easily lose. Um, and those are like the basically the main features inside of this bag. Other than that, it's pretty much a tote bag, but there's plenty of room in it and that's why I really like it. Um, it's great for if you're traveling, that kind of thing, because there's a ton of room. Um, so basically my overall review of this bag is that I do really, really like it. Um, honestly, I can't think of any cons for why I wouldn't purchase this bag. I think your hardest decision when deciding to buy the Neverfull would be which size um, and then also which, which material do you want. You know, do you want the monogram? Do you want this one? That kind of thing. Um, but honestly, it's a great bag and you really can't go wrong with buying it. You'll have it for years and years and years. And if something like goes wrong with it, like um, if some of the piping gets messed up and you want new piping, you can pay to replace that. Um, they'll fix it all up for you. So now on to the part of the video about what's in my purse. I don't know why people love these videos. I guess we're all a little bit nosy. We want to see what everyone else is carrying in their purse, get some ideas for ourselves. Um, I'm kind of a person who's like a, normally a what if person, so I carry way too much stuff in my bag. Um, but as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I've really tried to cut down what I carry in my purse because I was just carrying too much stuff. It was too heavy, so I've really narrowed it down and these are my essentials that I carry in my bag on a daily basis. So first of all, my cell phone. Obviously, always have to have that. Um, inside of the purse, there is this little, you can see my sunglasses right here. What, what are they hanging on? There's this little tag right here. You can see. It's just a little loop. A lot of times I like to hang my sunglasses on there because one, I can easily find them. Um, and two, then they don't get scratched or you know, around in the bottom of my purse with everything else. Just a little something that I've been doing. Oh, by the way, these are the Key Australia Sugar and Spice sunglasses. I don't know if they're still available. If they are, I will link them down below. Um, but I get so many compliments on these because they're like a white and brown marble print and then they have the silver lenses that are reflective. Okay, the next thing I carry in my purse is a light sweater. I get cold frequently, so I always have some sort of little sweater. Right now I'm carrying this old little see-through one from Nordstrom that I am obsessed with. I've had it for probably four years and it's it's just great. I wish they still sold them. Um, next up is a phone charger because as a Sorry, that's the phone. Um, but as a blogger and YouTuber, I'm constantly on my phone posting things, um, preparing content and stuff. So my phone dies frequently. Um, so I always have that with me. And I usually actually have a backup charger as well in here. But for some reason, I have misplaced it recently. So another thing, though, that I usually carry with me. Next up is a little snack. I am a huge snacker, so this is um, a little bag of trail mix from Trader Joe's. I wanna say this is the rainbow trail one or something like that, um, because it has, uh, let's see, I think it has raisins, almonds, peanuts, um, and then it has some little M&Ms mixed in, which I love because I'm a total chocolate lover. But this is really, really good from Trader Joe's. And then I often have a bottle of water. This does weigh down my purse, but I've been trying to drink more water recently, so it's always a good idea to have this. Or a lot of times if I don't want it to weigh down the purse, I'll just carry it in my hand. And then I actually only have two more big things in my purse, surprisingly. So I have my wallet. This is a hobo. It's black. I have had this for probably close to 10 years, honestly. Um, and it's just been the absolute best. It has been with me everywhere. Um, I like that it opens up like this so you can put stuff in the middle um, there's a little zip in the middle too and then it has the two sides that open up that can store things in um, and this can also be used as a clutch which is another great aspect of it these come in many different colors um, and I will actually link this down below as well because they still sell these they're around a hundred dollars and that may seem a little pricey for a wallet but honestly this will last you for such a long time so I love using this as a wallet 
And then the last thing is my makeup bag. I actually just used like a little bag that I um, received at the Lancome counter. <laughs> you know, like the makeup bags they give out like if there's some sort of bonus thing going on. Um, so I have really narrowed down the makeup that I carry with me. I used to carry so much, um, but I just don't want to anymore. So I have my powder. That's an essential for me because sometimes throughout the day I just look a little shiny. Um, I have my pack of gum in here. I have a little hand sanitizer spray. You guys, if you are a fan of washing your hands before you eat, which you should, um, I highly recommend these. This is like the little CVS one, and it's just a spray. So you just take off the cap, spray it, and you're good to go. It's super easy, um, and it's not as, I guess, obnoxious as pulling out like a pack of um, hand wipes and wiping you like that. This is just super, super easy. But trust me, I am the person who uh, used to carry hand wipes with me and still sometimes do. So I'm not hating. I'm just saying that this spray is way easier. Um, and then I have a Tied to Go stick. So obviously this isn't all makeup. Most of it's not. Um, but here comes my lip products, which is always essential. So first of all, I have this Urban Decay Hi-Fi Shine Gloss in the shade Beso. And if you want to see a review video of all the different glosses in the Hi-Fi line, I will link that down below. Um, I'm just watching all of them in the video. And then last two, which are my absolute favorite. Um, this is my go-to lip combo right now. So I have the NYX Lip Liner in the shade Mauve. So I line my lips with that. And then I have the Sephora Cream Lip Stain in the shade 40. I can't remember what this is actually called. There's a name for it. Um, but these two together are such a beautiful combo and I get so many compliments on it. So highly, highly recommend these. All right, so that's the end of my video. I hope you enjoyed. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.